Hi beautiful people, it's Jasmine here and I am so excited to be back with another video. I know it's been so long since I've posted. I've been more active on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. But so much has happened since I've last posted, like my birthday was last month, so I turned 28, which is so weird that I'm 28. <laughs> also, I finished my spring semester of grad school which is very exciting because I have one class left until I have my master's. And we're in a pandemic. I don't think most people would have imagined anything like this happening which is going on right now. So I wanted to come to you all today with five ways to feel productive while staying in place, while working from home, while in quarantine. So hopefully this is helpful to you all. Now, I know that I'm extremely blessed because I'm able to work from home. I didn't lose my job. I still have a steady income coming in. And I know that that isn't the case for a lot of people. So some people's priority isn't being productive. But I've also been struggling with being productive. So these things have been helping me out and I definitely wanted to share them with you. So the first thing that I wanted to share is have a schedule or a routine for yourself. Now I know most people have a routine, especially if you're working from home, you obviously have your work schedule. But even if you aren't working right now, I think it's important to have a schedule. If you have kids, I think it's important to have a schedule for your kids. You know, while they're in school, they have a schedule. They know when their math class is, when their English class is, they know when lunch is. Little ones know when their nap time is. So I think that that's very important while staying in place. Having a schedule allows you to have a routine. And the more you have a routine, the more you can be consistent at whatever you're doing. Having time to place where you can do certain tasks is super efficient and it really is going to allow you to get the most out of your day. Now, along with having a routine, I think it's very important to set goals for your day or tasks to complete during the day. Now, these are kind of separate from your routine. Most of us do this anyway. When we wake up in the morning, we're like, oh, I have this, this, and this that I want to do today. Why not just write it out? I actually learned this from Erin On Demand. When she starts her work day, she has like three goals or three things that she wants to accomplish that day. I think that's super important and it allows you to set yourself up to accomplish things during the day. These don't even have to be big things, you know? These can be the littlest things. It can be something like finish a gallon of water, take the trash out, do two job applications, update your resume. This can be things that you've been putting off for months or it can be the smallest thing. Writing those tasks down, you consistently see them and it makes you want to accomplish them and you feel so good when you're able to kind of check them off of your list. And even if you can't think of, you know, three things to do, try to think of like two things to do or if you feel like ambitious, you can even think of more things to do. If you're someone that struggles to have a schedule or a routine, this is the perfect way to kind of start implementing that by setting little tasks for yourself to complete during that day. So the third thing that has been really helpful for me to be productive while staying in place is reorganizing and cleaning. Now, I could stand to clean more, but I have organized my closet. Every day I'm making up my bed. I just feel so good having a clean space and working in a clean space. And you know what they say, how your room looks is a reflection of your life or how your home looks is a reflection of your life. Now is the perfect time to clean, to tidy up, to reorganize. All those things that you've been putting off, maybe that home improvement project, it's the perfect time to do that because you have more time on your hands and you're spending more time at home and you want to be in a place where you feel good. And I mentioned reorganizing, but reorganizing doesn't just have to be your home or where you live at. Also, reorganize your life. If you've been thinking about rebranding yourself or branding yourself, now is the perfect time to do that. If you've been thinking about your life and how things can be better or systems that you can make better, now is the time to do that. Your routine, things that you want to change up, it's a good time to really try that out. 
So the fourth thing that I've really been enjoying doing is going for walks. I've been going for walks almost daily. I would say go for jogs, but that's not even safe anymore if you're black in certain areas. But I have been enjoying going for walks. I feel like it's a great way to get some fresh air, to change up your scenery. Obviously you're getting some exercise, you're getting your heart rate going. And if you feel like you're not accomplishing as much as you can at work, sometimes it's good to step out, go for a 15 minute walk or so. You'll allow yourself to get some fresh air, to kind of reset. It helps calm down anxiety in some cases, so I definitely recommend it. And the CDC and World Health Organization have recommended going for a walk for 30 minutes a day. And remember, practice social distancing, stay six feet apart. Now the last thing, number five, is my favorite, and that is practice gratitude. Now, I have been trying to actively practice gratitude. I just read a book on it. Well, no, I audio booked it. I will leave it down here. But yeah, practicing gratitude is very important. During this time, it's really hard to be positive. I get it with so much negativity going on. But, you know, practicing gratitude is so important to just kind of push away some of that negativity and all the negativity that is coming our way. So what I recommend is writing down three things that you're grateful for each day. You could do this in the morning, you know, after you pray or something, write down three things you're grateful for, or even better at night before you go to bed, write down three things you were grateful for that happened to you during that day. That's just so important during this time to stay centered and not let the world get the best of you. Like it's so easy to compare yourself to other people or you can just take a moment and just think about all that you have in your life. It allows you to have a better perspective. Honestly, sometimes I do this during the day if I'm upset or something or if I find myself thinking negatively, I just do deep breath, deep breath, and just focus on your breathing. All you can do, deep breath deep breath when you're upset you're in your feelings like you're pissed off deep breath deep breath focus on your breathing in that moment like, okay I'm breathing I'm breathing if you can bring yourself to it like this is messed up right now but at least I'm alive this is messed up right now Think of a positive thing, something that you're grateful for. There's plenty of gratitude books on Amazon, or you can buy gratitude journal. Even um, get a notebook and just every morning write the things you're grateful for before you go to bed, you know, write three things that you're grateful for. It's also really helpful with anxiety and depression. So I really hope that this helps you. And hopefully you can take at least one of the things that I mentioned today and implement it in your life. And please remember that like this pandemic is not a productivity contest. Taking care of yourself is being productive. So if you focus on that at the end of the day, that's literally perfect. There's so many people out here that are like these productivity experts. And now we feel like we need to come out of this being top chefs with 10 streams of income and six packs. But no, just do your best. And that's the most important thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for more content. I love you all. Uh, leave a comment down below of ways that you are focusing on being productive or ways that you'll focus on just doing the best that you can during this pandemic.